This lesson deals with using Excel worksheets within PowerPoint. Now, from here, I'm not able to use these buttons, not to my knowledge, to insert a spreadsheet. So, your best bet is just to delete that placeholder and then go to Table, and from Table, choose Excel Spreadsheet. So, this is if you want to create a brand new spreadsheet right in here. Now, when you click that button, it gives you this really tiny little spreadsheet with four cells. Now, in order to get more cells, you need to drag one of these black nodes over. So now I have more columns. And now if you want more rows, you can ask for, it's not telling you how many rows you're getting, you kind of sort of got to guess. So I'm not crazy about the fact that I can't define exactly how many rows and how many columns I can get, but nevertheless, it's working and notice what's really important is that uh, our toolbar has turned into our Excel toolbar. So all of the powers and capabilities of Excel are at your disposal even though you're working officially in PowerPoint. We are now temporarily in Excel. As long as these black nodes are up, I'm in Excel. So everything that we learned in Excel, we can now do here in PowerPoint. Uh, as soon as you click off, this becomes kind of like clip art in a sense that you can, you can move it, you can size it, but as soon as you double click, back into Excel. All right, so that's one thing that hasn't changed. Um, and then of course you would build this any way that you would want to. All right, so the black nodes allow you to add columns and rows or get rid of columns and rows. Okay, so this allows you to crop in, so to speak, columns and rows. And when you click off, you can then size what you have whatever way you'd like. So when the black nodes aren't around, you're able to size. When the black nodes are around, which you get, of course, by double clicking on your object, you're able to crop in or crop out columns and rows. It's that simple. Now, I'm going to now talk about taking an existing spreadsheet from Excel and bringing it into here. Um, you can copy and paste, which is my favorite option. So if you've already got it in Excel, my recommendation is find it in Excel, open up the file, find the area that you want. You may not always want the entire spreadsheet and actually oftentimes you don't want the whole spreadsheet. You only want a part of the spreadsheet, which is one of the problems I have with trying to insert it right from PowerPoint because you have the ability to insert it. Okay, so you have the ability to go insert object find the Excel file you want, insert it, but understand the whole thing's coming in and then you'll have to crop out the areas that you don't want. My preference is to copy and paste it. So from Excel, I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to go over to PowerPoint here. You can't just paste. If I just paste, it's going to come in as a table that I can, that I can size and I can type in, but when I double click on this thing, I don't have the powers of Excel at my disposal. I want the powers of Excel to my, at my disposal most of the time. So paste was not the right option. Paste special would have been the right option. Now you're going to choose of course Microsoft Excel spreadsheet or worksheet. The, the decision you need to make is do you want it to be linked? Now what this means is if you link it and you change the original, it will automatically change in PowerPoint. So oftentimes uh, when you're working in an office, you're sharing documents. So the accounting department might be sharing documents with the um, marketing department. So in that case, the marketing department would probably want the link to be on. So that way if the numbers get updated at the last minute, when they run their presentation, it will reflect the latest numbers. So paste link simply means if it changes in the original file, change it here in the presentation. Whereas paste means show it the way that it was when I first pasted it in. So that's the difference between the two. You'll see no difference. It just it's just linked. So now when I hit OK, I'm going to get what I selected. And now if I double click in here, it actually left that file that was in PowerPoint and it's brought me to the original file inside of Excel because by double clicking I'm saying I want to change this, I want to edit it. Well it brought me to the original file and here I can do all the editing that I want. Had I not, and I'm just going to close this here, I'll say no, I don't want to save the changes. 
And no, I don't want to stay in the clipboard. Okay, had I not hit link, double clicking would have simply brought up the toolbars in here and I could have edited this document very easily. So that's the easiest, fastest, most efficient way of bringing in a document from Excel into an existing PowerPoint presentation. It's very effective, it's very useful, and it's used an awful lot.